The most important thing is being confident that the tumor is in a state of complete regression as best we can tell by physical exam, by cross-sectional imaging. So the characteristics of the tumor bed in the rectum, the uh, appearance of the rectal wall and the lymph nodes on high quality MR imaging is most important. We know the most difficult tumors to truly eradicate are the bulkier, larger tumors. So tumor size, the tumor diameter, uh, and to some extent the T stage, a T4 tumor, for example, big tumor, uh, they're going to be more difficult both to shrink and destroy completely by non-operative means. They're also the more difficult ones to assess, both radiographically with MRI and by physical exam. So big bulky tumors, in my opinion, are not great candidates. The intermediate size and the smaller tumors are probably going to have a higher cure rate by non-operative management, just by virtue of there being fewer tumor cells. And it's easier to assess their response. So that's the first thing. They have to be tumors that we think are clinically favorable, that have gone away completely. I'd also add patients with a lot of uh, disease in the mesentery. Big, bulky mesenteric lymph nodes are also probably not the greatest candidates.